Actors Joe Manganiello and Sofia Vergara are two of the most beautiful people on the planet, and their relationship is clearly hashtag goals. But all couples have their little quirks and offbeat moments, and we've uncovered all the strange things behind this Hollywood power couple's marriage. Vergara was still engaged to former fiancé Nick Loeb when Manganiello topped People's list of Hollywood's most eligible bachelors, which meant that the True Blood alum was talking exclusively in aspirational terms when he named Vergara as the living embodiment of his ideal woman. The two had never met, and Manganiello couldn't have had the faintest idea that he'd one day be married to his celebrity crush. Describing his ideal woman, he told the outlet, "'Girls that do squats. I love a butt. Sofia Vergara, that's it. She's got that Latin thing going on. She's got the butt, she's got the curves, she's got a beautiful face, beautiful hair, just gorgeous, and she's feisty." As for Vergara's early thoughts on her man after they finally got together, she told Ellen back in 2015, "...he's a great guy. Super fun, super normal, and we clicked. He's super easy to hang out with." I actually got married to my celebrity crush. We already know Manganiello loves a good butt, but apparently there's evidence of his early fascination with Vergara's backside in particular in the form of a picture taken by a sharp-eyed photographer at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in 2014, back when Vergara was still engaged to Nick Loeb. According to a source cited by Us Weekly, shortly after Vergara and Manganiello began dating, this event marked the very first moment the couple ever met. If they hadn't ended up together, that moment could easily be topping a list of awkward celebrity photo bombs. But since this celeb pair is now married, it's cute and not completely weird. And when I confronted him, he's like, uh, yeah, what am I gonna say? He's like, <laughs> <laughs> he's like, you, I did it. In a world where most celebrity relationships simmer quietly behind the scenes for months, Joe and Sophia became an item at warp speed. Mere weeks passed between their first meeting at the White House Correspondents' Dinner in 2014 and their emergence on the scene as a couple later that year. Turns out, Manganiello had a little help from the media to get a foot in the door. He told Cosmo UK in 2017, "...I was on a press tour when I found out Sophia was single. My friend is an editor and told me she was about to make the announcement." By the time Vergara's next movie came out, they were totes official. By the time Vergara ended her engagement with Loeb in 2014, Manganiello's massive crush on her was common knowledge amongst their mutual friends, and she'd been single for all of five minutes before he made his move. Manganiello explained to an Australian news outlet that one of her Modern Family co-stars was an accomplice. "...I got her number from Jesse Tyler Ferguson, and I called her the next day, but she was filming Hot Pursuit in New Orleans." And I called so fans like, "...can I give Joe your number?" And she's like, "...I know, I, they're coming out of the woods." <laughs> like wanting me to give the number as well. Like Joe, of course, who was in Los Angeles at the time, hopped on a plane immediately to visit his crush. He remembered, "...I flew to New Orleans and took her out on a date. She blamed me ever since for ruining our life because she was supposed to be single, but I didn't let that happen. And here we are." What does Vergara put on when she wants to nail down a commitment from the man of her dreams? A little spritz of perfume and nothing else. Literally. While she was promoting her new line of fragrances in 2014, she told Meredith Vieira, "...that's all I wear, perfume. That's, that's how I, I got the Joe Manganiello to be in love with me." And if you think she was joking, take note. Vergara said virtually the exact same thing during an appearance at Good Morning America, claiming, "...he smelled me and he couldn't help himself. That's all you need if you want Joe." And even Manganiello admitted this for himself. Before he and Vergara ever got together, the former True Blood star told People magazine, "...I'm big into smell. It's funny I got cast as a werewolf. There's something about the smell on that part of a woman's neck where it meets the jaw? Ah, it's heaven." "...You got a scent? Wait for me, I'll see!" Some folks institute a mandatory two-year dating period before they'll even consider a permanent commitment, but these two lovebirds took just six months to put a ring on it. I knew like, right away." Half a year after their first date in New Orleans, Manganiello got down on one knee in Hawaii and popped the question. Although he told Made Man that he had to go with his backup plan when it came to the proposal. "...getting engaged was the equivalent of a CIA operation." Joe told Hote Living in 2015, "...I had to do it indoors because the island was infested with paparazzi. I wanted to do it on the beach, but I couldn't. I had to do it inside, which was fine. I proposed to her on one knee in Spanish with the sun going down. It was awesome. 
I'm speaking Spanish and, and there's a ring in the in the box and so she you know she just grabs onto me and starts hugging me and kind of didn't hear what I said. As for their undeniable whirlwind romance, the actor reasoned to the outlet, when you know, you know, and we knew right away, like very quickly. Many stars who want to keep their nuptials private opt for a super small, intimate, secret ceremony that they only announce to the world after it's already happened. But Joe and Sophia somehow managed to accomplish the impossible, a massive 400-person wedding with zero unauthorized leaks. Now I'm married, happily married. Happily married. So what was their secret to keeping it on the DL despite their giant guest list? Every single person in attendance at the Palm Beach, Florida affair reportedly had to sign a confidentiality agreement, according to E! News. Vergara explained to Martha Stewart Weddings, I want a wedding where the guests are going to have fun. It's about creating memories that you're always going to cherish. That's what's important. Despite keeping their big day on the down low, Manganello had been more than happy to gush about the the future of his and Vergara's relationship, telling Hote Living prior to their wedding, On a personal level, I can't wait to get married and start a family. It's something that we talked about very early on. Their first stop after tying the knot? A gorgeous honeymoon at the Parrot K Resort in Turks and Caicos, which Vergara was more than happy to document on Instagram. Whatever words you'd use to describe Joe Manganiello, we're guessing that they're not art collector. But as it turns out, the actor is quite the art aficionado. And when it came to decking the walls at his and Sophia's home, he was happy to take the lead. Manganiello told People magazine in 2017, I have always made it a habit of going to art galleries and openings. Some of my friends are some of the biggest artists working today, and others have made careers of collecting and dealing art. So when it came time to decorate the new house, along Along with the works I had collected over the years, I had new paintings and works commissioned. Considering the stunning inside look the couple gave of their new home to Architectural Digest in 2016, we'd say this multi-talented star did more than alright when it came to the decor. Vergara apparently yanked a life-sized promotional cutout of her husband from one of the Magic Mike films to use as fitspiration, setting it up in the perfect spot to keep an eye on her while she does cardio. The actress posted, Who wouldn't get motivated with that guy in the back staring at you like that? I know I have to work out. I don't love it that much, but it's become part of my life. But that's not to say that a showbiz couple who stays fit together actually works out together. Vergara revealed that she exercises separately from Mangan telling the Los Angeles Times, quote, the weights he lifts are too heavy. If I can do it, you can do it. Anything is possible. Some guys might celebrate their one-year anniversary by bringing home flowers and a bottle of champagne. But fellas, Manganello sees your flowers and champagne game, and he is not impressed. For his first anniversary with Vergara, he wrote her an actual book based on their real-life love story. Joe explained to Conan in 2017, I'd saved all the texts and little pictures we had sent to each other and like the table we sat at on our first date at the restaurant. Around that time, the actor also revealed to Ola USA, We realized very early on that we each had to put the other person's happiness and well-being ahead of our own. Once you realize that kind of trust has manifested, you hang on for dear life. We can hardly wait for their 10-year wedding anniversary, by which time Manganello will have outdone himself so many times over that there's nothing left to do but buy Vergara her own planet. Because some celebrity gossip rags are less ethical than others, Manganello and Vergara read all about their supposed impending breakup in Star Magazine, which falsely claimed back in 2017 that the couple was headed toward Splitsville after Sophia was reportedly spotted without her engagement ring. Both actors were furious at the claim, taking to their respective Instagram accounts to deny the rumor. Sophia lambasted Star's editor as a quote, idiot, writing in part, if he is going to have my ring removed to create fake news, he should have made sure that he removed from social media all the other pictures of that award night in Rome where I'm wearing it. Yes, I am a celebrity and Joe is a celebrity, but when there's other people involved, I think they should be respected. Meanwhile, Manganello suggested a boycott of the tabloid, saying, Big surprise, everyone, but Star created a fake story and then photoshopped my wife's engagement ring off of her finger in order to sell magazines. They are run by malicious trash. Do the world a favor and don't don't buy their garbage. We're married and love each other very much, and so hopefully that, that chemistry comes through. 
Before meeting Manganello, Vergara was in a volatile on-again, off-again romance with Nick Loeb. After Vergara and Loeb split in 2014, he took her to court over two frozen pre-embryos they created during their relationship, which they reportedly agreed to leave untouched, not to bring to term, or destroy without the other's consent. Two lives have already been created. I wouldn't just toss them aside no different than a, a child that had been born. In 2016, Loeb tried unsuccessfully to gain full custody of the embryos in California so he could have them implanted in a surrogate. Loeb then sued Vergara in Louisiana on behalf of the unborn embryos, alleging they couldn't access an inheritance granted to them in the state because they weren't born. Vergara responded by suing Loeb in California, seeking damages and an injunction to prevent him from using the embryos without her consent, per their original agreement. Vergara, through her attorney, also accused Loeb of using the embryo battle for fame, which several sources close to Loeb later seemed to confirm. I really want to make this like the last time I talk about it because I don't think it's fair. In October 2019, Loeb scored a minor win when a Los Angeles appellate court ordered Vergara to fork over $80,000 in legal fees. However, Page Six reported around that time that a judge dismissed missed Loeb's Louisiana lawsuit with, quote, prejudice and questioned Loeb's residency in the Pelican State. Still, the battle may not be over. Loeb's attorney vowed to appeal the decision. As evidenced by their insta-snaps from their first-ever Thanksgiving as a married couple, Joe and Sophia take the holiday pretty seriously. Pro tip, if you're ever invited for Thanksgiving dinner at the Manganello Vergara house, you'd better come wearing your finest turkey-themed headgear or you shan't get any pie. The festive hats have even returned for Thanksgiving 2019 during a glamorous family and friends gathering hosted by the famous duo, according to Ola USA. Of course, it's no secret this pair knows how to do any holiday or celebration, right? From marking their five-year dating anniversary with a romantic trip to Italy in 2019, to ringing in the new year with friends at what the Daily Mail suspected to be their Bahamas vacation home, Manganello and Vergara seem to be living their best lives as a team. As the actress captioned a later snap, complete with two heart emojis, this married pair is, quote, ready for 2020. Check out one of our newest videos right here! Plus, even more Nicki Swift videos about your favorite celebs are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.